Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I'm back with the question from gate 2010 exam. It is for one mark. You need to find the output of this code. So have a look. In this code, there are two global variables named i and j. And you know, global variables will never be declared on the stack. They will be declared in the data section. Suppose we have the data sections here. So I'm declaring i and j. They are initialized with values 0 and 1. So i has a value 0 and j gets a value 1. Suppose address of this variable i is 20 and suppose this address is 40. Okay. Now you have to start execution from the main function. That means activation record for main function will be pushed onto the stack. Suppose this is that activation record. So first line in main function is trying to call one more function. Because we are calling a function, so one more activation record corresponding to that function will be pushed onto the stack. Okay. And to this function, we are passing and i, comma and j. And means the address of operator. So address of i and address of j is passed. To resolve these variable names, first you have to look in activation record of main function only. You cannot find any i and j. So now look in the global space. That means can you find any variables that are named i and j that are global? Yes, there are these two variables. So their addresses will be passed. That means 20 and 40 is passed. So this is 20 and this is 40. So 20 will be given to star p, 40 will be given to star q. Star p and star q are pointer type variables that are local to this function f. That means these variables will be present inside activation record of f. The activation record that we have right now pushed. So in this activation record there is p which is a pointer and there is q which is again a pointer. Both of these are pointers to integers. Star means they are pointers. Int means they will be pointing to integer only. So p gets a value 20. q gets a value 40. Okay. That means this variable p, it is pointing to i like this. This variable q is pointing to j like this. Okay. Now, we'll just pause this main function here only and we have to start execution of this function named f. So first line in this function is p is equal to q. That means whatever is saved in q has to be saved in p also. So this variable gives its value to variable on left side. P has a value 40. So that 40 is saved in, sorry, Q has a value 40. That 40 is saved in P also, which means P and Q, both of these variables, they are pointing to J only. Okay. Like this. Now next line says star P is equal to 2. That means value at address P is equal to 2. So address p is 40, value at address 40 has to be updated with 2. So this 1 now becomes 2, okay. Then this was the last line of this function. So you will return back to main function. That means this activation record will be deleted because this function has now ended, okay. Like this. You come back to the main function and you have to resume from the next line. See this function call has already been made now. So next line is printf, which is trying to print i and j. That means you'll print 0 and 2. Okay. So what is the output? Output is 0, 2. This is the answer to this question. Okay.